Okay, so now that I've got the arrangement finished, um, what, I, what I tend to do, or at least a rough arrangement, what I tend to do then is start adding effects um, for transitions. Um, now, I was very lucky and picked up a brilliant sample library that I would advise, well, say I would advise everyone to get, but maybe not because I use the sounds of it. And it's called Rise Effects by Push Button Bang. Now, what I've done is effectively put all of those sounds into different sampler instruments. Um, and then I've gone through each one whilst the track has been playing and just press keys to see which work. Now I've found one that works really, really well. Um, I'll just play it for you now. As you can hear, it's just a, a right, what's called a riser. It goes from very low up to very high. But what I wanted to do with that was to actually um, let it last for a wee while, as in let it sort of fade out. Um, so what I've done is I've put a few effects onto the channel itself. As you can see, I've got an auto filter that's set to a high pass, um, and I've got a ping pong delay. I'll go through each one separately and let you see exactly the way that I've got it set up. So if I just turn on the auto filter and press play, You'll see that it rises up and um, it creates a better rise because it's effectively going from all high and then bringing in the bass. Um, I'll show you how I did that in a wee second with the automation. Um, then what I did after that was put a ping pong delay on it. Now how I've set this up um, is I've gone with a dry wet of 50%. Um, so that's effectively half the original signal and half the delayed signal. Um, and then I set it at beat division 4 here. Now what that does is effectively puts it on the beat. So any delays will run with the beat itself. So if I just play that now for you. Let you hear it. We get a really nice delay effect uh, that runs through. Now I'll show you the automation. I'm not going to go into it um, in too heavy a detail. Um, because I'm going to do a separate thing on, on the automation itself. But effectively I've just chosen the ping pong delay. And then I've chosen a specific area. Um, now in this case what I was looking for was the dry wet. Um, that then gives me a line effectively that I can change. So the dry wet currently as we can see here is set at 50%. Now maybe I don't want that to start at 50%. Maybe I want that to start at 0. So I double click on the line. Double click here. And pull it down. So whenever I press play, none of the delayed signal is really introduced in the whole sample. It's only the end of it that I'm catching. Now I've done the same thing for the auto filter. If I just select the auto filter from the top menu and I select frequency, you can see exactly what I've done here. So that is going from a look, from a high pass filter down to the full thing. And we can see that running if we watch the auto filter itself now. And that's how I created the first part of the effect. Um, but what I also wanted was a bang as well that I could use against the crash from time to time. And we'll show you that in a wee moment. Okay, so I've got the next part of it in. Um, I'm just going to play the overall effect for you um, so that you can hear it. I'm just going to solo out these tracks um, so that we can go from there. Now if I play that with the rest of the track itself and let you hear the transition. Uh -huh. 
And that's how you work with effects. So it's just a case of finding the right ones uh, within your sample library. Um, the rise effects by uh, push button bang is excellent. It does exactly what it says on the tin.